Hey guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video, and today we will be reviewing set 70591, Cryptarian Prison Breakout. Now this set has 207 pieces, 5 minifigures, and retailed for $20 back when it came out during, I guess, the day of the Departed wave, but it was a continuation of the Skybound wave. Now this is a very interesting set because in the TV show, of course, you know, Cryptarium was always there. It's been here since Season 4 and is a major plot point ever since, you know, Season 4. So it was really interesting when we actually was able to get this set, and I was really happy with it because you got great exclusive minifigures figures a really cool build but does it stand up to the standards nowadays let's see so first let's move all these minifigures which we'll take a look at at the end of course and then you will also take a look at this table after we took a look take a look at the main prison itself so you can see that this thing is very nice it's sort of sectioned off into three sections and each of these little side sections are able to sort of rotate they do have these hinges right here so you could get like a cool angle where it's sort of like you're in the prison itself which i really like sort of the rounder angle that you do see in the tv show or you could get it flat out like a wall or you could even, you know, full out just like collapse them in, which I do think is an interesting option. It is also really cool because I feel like the set is just dying to be connected with others, sort of like Chen's Arena, or I guess what I've heard of Chen's Arena, I don't own it. But you can just see, I am very sad that I didn't get multiples of the set if I were, you know, back in that day. I didn't even buy many Ninjago sets at that point, so you know, there's that. But first, let's start off with this left section. Up on the top, you have this little guardrail, which you can, of course, put a guard right here. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the skeleton legs. Those just don't really work out for me personally you will do also have this little door right here sadly that can't open so that is something to note you just kind of just stuck right there very interesting i think it has to do with the other door which we'll take a look at this in a second you can see we have a spear right here a pair of herring cuffs again very odd that those are in a prison you have some nice brick dealing on, brick tea tailing on the side as well as this escape plan for captain soto as well as the great stone warrior now this is a very interesting sticker piece right here just because you know it's a sticker and this never was in the show but his plan, as you can tell, is to use this crowbar to break out of his jail cell using the toilet. So I feel like that's a very interesting thing. Maybe that's why his hand's brown? Who knows? But you can just sort of take this crowbar right here, which you can see on the side, sort of pull it out, which is a pretty cool little toilet build. Now on the other side, you can see we have a nice jail door. We have a security camera up here, which you can position. You have a nice little telephone right here, sort of like in the TV show when Dareth came to visit the ninja. Or I guess you could have Kai coming in to break the ninja out. I think that's really what you're going for. But but the really cool part, as you can see, you have another telephone right here. Nothing else is in this said cell, sadly. But the really cool thing you can do with it is that you can sort of just push on it and the GL cell breaks open, which is pretty cool. Now, moving on to the main section, you can see we have a nice little passageway right here. It is, of course, hollow on both sides. It's a very, very hollow thing. There's nothing in it, but I think it looks good nonetheless. But you can pretend you're having your jail, your prisoners trying to break out, and then you sort of lift up this black roof up here, roof, and you can see you got a couple of these uh, little spikes up here, which look very nice. But you can sort of lift that up. So one second, you just lift it up, and the jail door drops down, and now your prisoners can't escape, which I think is really cool. You can see that uses a sticker piece right there with a really cool kimono dragon, which I just very much like, as well as a couple of these uh, blades right here. Again, more weapons, the better. But the really cool thing that I like to think about this is that you're actually able to put Kozu up here, and it becomes his own little cell, which I think is just really cool. You just sort of close that up, and there he goes, all locked up. But yeah, now let's take a look at that little table right here, which you can see right here. It does, it's very nice, you can see there's a cup and a baguette right here, and the thing is, is you're meant to just sort of push down, and the cup and baguette go flying. You can see the nice table right here, but there's also a really cool feature where you can actually put Zane down, lying down when the mechanic attacks him, and then you just sort of open it up, and on the inside you can see that there is a map to Tigeroidal Island, as well as the Cryptarian Prison right there. And then there's also an extra shuriken, because you know, in the set you do end up getting two. So, the first minifigure we'll take a look at is Captain Soto. So you can see he has a nice jail design, he has an exclusive hat and face, which is really cool because they have already printed his torso and legs, which is just really cool because now you can actually complete your Captain Soto. But besides that, you can also see he has his nice peg leg, which is a really cool thing. You don't have to put that on or anything, it just comes like that. And that's sort of a rare piece nowadays, so I really enjoy getting it here. He also, for some reason, has a brown hand, not his hook. I have absolutely no clue why, but I guess they just didn't have the budget to include a hook, so they included a brown hand. And yeah, that's it for this minifigure. 
Now, besides Captain Soto, I would say Zane is probably the second most sought-after minifigure in this set. So this is, of course, an exclusive variant of Zane, so if you wanted to have all of them, you'd have to have this guy. But he has a shuriken in one of his hands, as well as a pair of cuffs. Very much an oxymoron right there. But you can see he has, like I said, he has an exclusive torso, which is very cool to see. You can see he has his heart just printed right there. It is very interesting, though, because, of course, the mechanic is the one doing all this damage to Zane, and, of course, the mechanic doesn't come in this set. He has this nice chrome hair, which this was actually the first way to be able to get it. You can see if you can take that off, you can see he's got this face right here. Not a really big fan of this face, but of course the other face has like this whole nautical spyglass thing. I really enjoy this face. Looks a lot like the TV show, but sadly, of course, you can't use it with this minifigure. One other thing to note that I know probably you guys won't care about, but you can see the bottom or the backside of this guy's face. But yeah, Alright, so the next minifigure is the Giant Stone Warrior. Now this name might sound familiar, and you might not know why. And that is because the Giant Stone Warrior actually came in Cole's Earth Driller. So you can see here he is right here, you can see the two compared. And yeah, this is definitely, definitely a smaller version of him. But, in my opinion, it kind of begs the question, was this minifigure actually needed? Because in the TV show, like I said, the mechanic was a much bigger part than the Stone Warrior ever was. Him in this jail outfit, never really. And you can't really convey the whole, I guess, giant Stone Warrior without him being giant. So this minifigure has an exclusive this part, or I guess like this little visor right here, an exclusive armor piece as well as an exclusive face. Could that have gone to an exclusive mechanic? I definitely think so. Uses the, sh the helmet of darkness as well as an exclusive face, which is only one-sided. And of course, what prison would it be without its prison guards? Now this guy is actually very interesting because there was, this guy did not exist in the TV show. The there were prison guards, but of course they looked literally nothing like this. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind, but there is something this minifigure is absolutely amazing for, that torso. That torso is used not only for the commissioner, but also the warden. Now, of course, the warden does not come in this set for some odd reason, but you can, of course, use that torso to make him. This guy is a very, very well done minifigure. And last, but definitely not least, we have Kai. So this guy is really cool, love the swords, love that holder, but this guy did come in a poly bag that was given out, and I actually have that poly bag. He also was in a couple of cheaper sets, so again, nothing crazy to note. He has his original face, which I kind of like, never really liked the scars, it always confused me, but you know that's just me, as well as this really cool dual molded headpiece, head hood. And then on the back, you can just see you got a couple of the swords right here, which just slide into that gold holder. Okay, 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 what do I really think about? About this set well eh, it's all right so of course I do really like all the different play features this set is absolutely loaded up on play features and for a set to be loaded this much with play features I think it's just really good you don't get many play sets like this nowadays to have a good amount of play features as well as a good mini figure selection however saying that this does not look like it does in the show and I really feel like nowadays it, this wouldn't slide so I wish we could get a legacy remake of this or something but make it a lot more expensive or make it look a lot more like it does in the show sort of like Chen's Arena that's exactly that set is kind of the same thing I have with this one not my problems so you can see the minifigures in the set are nice but they're all very odd inclusions so Captain Soto definitely great minifigure to include in this set definitely I would no matter what cha not change that but then this great Stone Warrior, actually I'm thinking about it, and I think that might be the same face as Legacy, I would take him out and include the mechanic. I would take this damaged Zane out and include the mechanic. N none of these other minifigures are nearly as important as the mechanic. I mean, heck, Captain Soto is important, but not, maybe not on the level of the mechanic, at least nowadays. But when this came out, of course, Captain Soto is a little more, uh, you know, a little more there. He's pretty good. I wouldn't change him. But like I said, these two, I would definitely sacrifice to get another mechanic, or I guess the mechanic. Also, Kai not being in a jail outfit is a little odd, and I do wish that we could get more. As you know, I do try and, I tried to at least equip all of my ninja with these outfits but of course just be ready because i will be releasing videos and tutorials on how to make different characters that are in cryptarian prison but yeah well that'll do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye